Hello everyone and welcome to sketchbook episode number 4. Today I'll be drawing a toucan in my sketchbook and answering some of your questions. Before we begin, make sure to check out my Patreon channel where I'll be releasing a longer version of this video. I'll leave the link to my channel in the description below. Okay, so the first question I got was which media do you prefer? I really enjoy using all different medias. I love using oil paints and color pencils. As for sketchbook episodes, I don't think my sketchbook can handle wet media. So my sketchbook warps a lot when I use watercolor or acrylics. So I'm sticking with dry media until I finish this one. Maybe I'll get a better sketchbook next time. Next question is how do you preserve the paintings you made? I put a nice coat of varnish on my paintings once they are dry. Varnish prevents the paintings from dust and dirt accumulation. Also, varnishes are available in different types. You can get either glossy one or a matte one. I prefer the glossy ones. Also, varnishing makes the colors in the painting pop up, which gives a really nice look to the painting. As for drawings, I use a fixative spray once I finish drawing them. This makes sure that the drawings won't get smudged. Another alternative for using fixative spray is using hairspray. But I've never tried that one out, so take this information with a grain of salt. Now on to the next question, which color pencils do you use? I mostly use Prisma color pencils. I really love using them because of the bright vibrant colors. Next question is, what sharpener do you use? I use a normal sharpener. I don't use any special ones for this. I have heard many artists complain about the pencil leads breaking while sharpening Prisma color pencils uh, with different sharpeners but I have never had any issue with them so I have never bothered about getting an expensive sharpener. Now let's get into the drawing. I really enjoy drawing this beautiful bird. The most fun part was drawing its colorful large bill. Its body is mostly black in color. You can see me use a layer of blue before I add the black color. This is for adding depth. If we use black color just like that it will look really plain. One thing that you really have to keep in mind while creating realistic art is that always use at least three colors in a single part. This gives the realistic look that you need. Also, make sure that all the values are correct. The darks should be dark enough and the lights should be light enough. This way you can achieve a more realistic look rather than using the exact same color that is in the reference picture. It was challenging to draw the tree. While drawing the twig, you need not draw every single line in the twig exactly as in the reference picture. Just make sure that you get the major shapes correctly. Make sure that you don't get lost in the details. Hope you all enjoyed watching this video. Make sure that you subscribe for more art videos. Catch you next time. Bye.